Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today we have got the Barbie the Movie Return to Barbie Land Barbie. Now, honestly, when I watched the movie, this was probably one of my least favorite outfits, seeing it on Margot. But we're going to take a look at her doll and see how it looks. But it was a great part of the movie. So here she is with her very cute pearl drop earrings. She's got some really sweet shoes, a little bit of a puff skirt. And then here is her UPC and her item number, in case you guys are trying to find her. She is one of our $50 dolls. So you do have that higher price point but she is not exclusive to Mattel Creation, so there is a chance that she goes down in price as the time goes on. So we are going to unbox her and try our best to get her out without damaging the box. Because our goal for these is to be able to display all of our Barbie the Movie dolls in a box. Okay, so here she is out of the box. Um, initial feelings of the doll. Oh, there's a crinoline. That's surprising. Um, it is a nice hat. It's well constructed. It's not super long brimmed, so it'll probably hold that shape. I love the way the shoes look. They're nice and basic. She looks really long-legged here. So we're going to take a look at the skirt and see if maybe the crinoline is the problem as to how it's laying. But in the meanwhile, we're going to get our stand piece off the side. This one actually looks like it's decently not bowed, but that is generally a problem that I've noticed with the Mattel stands in the last couple of years is that they're not really molded straight. Either that or they just get really heat warped in the boxes. I'm not sure what the issue is, but it's probably to do with them being shoved in instead of just being put in the box somewhere, but it's okay. Already done. Yep. Okay. So now the only thing we're waiting on is to get the rest of this backer out of the box. Okay. And as we see from our from our certificate, these are not numbered editions, so they are open. Um, so if you didn't get them in the first round probably going to be able to get all of them, except for maybe Simu. But honestly, he's still available on Mattel Creations, so you'd probably be able to get Simu without too much effort. Uh, but that's just a me thing. That's just me saying my two cents about it. Last one up here. Okay. 
so we do have our Barbie out, and now we just get our stand out. Okay. Very fun. And before we put the box back together, we're gonna just take out all this excess plastic. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. Okay. So we've got that. We're gonna put our box back together real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Just right back there. And we're gonna try to get her out of the box fully now. And the last thing is really just freeing her hair. Uh, not always as easy as it sounds, but we're gonna try our best. Okay. So I think that's really it. I just can. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. So we've got our little button here. Now we do have some more painted fingernails which were not present on the uh, Western Barbie, but were there on Disco Barbie. We've got our earrings. Let's see if they pop out easily or if they're on. Okay, so these pop out really easily. So be careful with those. This hat is secured on right there in the front with just a little staple. And I think I'm actually gonna leave it on, but I'm gonna show you guys what it's like underneath. So still densely rooted. We've got a side part on that one. So it's not just bangs that are brushed that way. Uh, so let's see how this jacket looks. I don't see any staples holding anything on, which is good. Okay, so there is a jacket. Doesn't really have a liner inside, but that's okay, that would have made it bulky. Here is our dress underneath. Actually, it might be a skirt, hold on. Okay, yeah, so it's a skirt and a top. Okay. We're gonna take a look at these individual pieces. So like I thought, that crinoline is a little uh, mussed up. So we're gonna take a look at it. Oh, There is one little staple connecting the skirt and the crinoline at the back. why that wasn't coming off right okay okay so we've got our skirt it's very cute we've got a crinoline which is a standard um, oh hold on thought that was part of the crinoline nope she has got underwear on also. So we've got a crinoline. We've got some Barbie underwear. It's pretty decent. Decently constructed. And then we also have our top. Okay. So we're gonna take a look at all of this. Okay. So 
here's those shoes I was talking about. I like these type of shoes. So honestly, I am surprised that this has got so many pieces. So if we count the hat, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces to her outfit. Which honestly, I thought this was a top, I thought this was a dress. Um, it's not. Like, that's awesome. But it's also got the crinoline and the underwear. And I'm wondering why this is not, why this wasn't included in the fashion pack instead. Because I feel like this would have made a really good fashion pack to include and then push forward um, Western Ken I feel like would have been a better plan but this is still a really pretty doll oh eight actually I forgot the earrings eight pieces so really cute actually now that I realize there's so many pieces to it like We'll, we'll see how it looks on our made-to-move body. So, I was not going to have all of them done in made-to-move, but I decided after seeing the movie that I wanted them all made-to-move. So, that's what I'm going to do. So she is a match for the new wheelchair Barbie. Uh, if you're looking for an easy color match, I have one of those that is already headless and ready to go. But we've got to take our Margot Barbie off. We're going to take those earrings off real quick. just to make sure they don't get accidentally crushed. Always make sure my head is soft and squishy first before I attempt this. That one fought me for a minute, but I didn't break it. Uh, so we put our head back on our new body. Bada bing, bada boom. Just like that, she's ready to go. And then we can put her earrings back in before we forget. Sorry about that. Um, so we'll put our shirt back on first. This is a really cute shirt. I was a little worried I was gonna have to undo that bow to take the shirt off, but I don't. So that's great. Um, so we're going to put it back on. Going to put our head back around to avoid it. Okay. So, so cute. Okay. Um, I'm a little on the fence about putting her underwear back on because I feel like it just adds extra bulk. So I'm going to just put the crinoline and the skirt on at like the same time, I think is probably going to be better instead of trying to force everything up. I feel like that's just gonna be better to do all at once. OK. 
Okay. And I'm actually going to try to secure down our shirt with the crinoline, if I can, just to kind of treat that like shirt stays, almost. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting there, not as easy as I want it to be, but it's fine. And then we just kind of flip our skirt back down and put it on like that. Just like that. Oop. Pops off really easily. All right. And a little bit poofier that way. And we also have that shirt kind of securely on there. Um, it is a little short, which I get, I guess is that's why they put the underwear on. So I guess I'll put it back on. I don't really have another use for it otherwise. Mm -hmm. Again, this is how I recommend you put the outfit on, shirt, and then skirt, crinoline, and then underwear underneath. Uh, but it's really cute. I think this is the side. Yeah. Buckle out. Gotcha. And now we've got our articulated ankles to make putting shoes on a little bit easier. And we're going to put our little jacket back on. Mm, something is caught. There we go. Okay. got our outfit put back together on our fun made to move body. So I think it looks super cute. I think it looks better on the doll than it did on Margot, oddly enough. Not that Margot ever really looks bad in anything, it just was not a super flattering outfit for her. Uh, but still a wonderful part of the movie. So we're going to put our duel on a stand. And she looks awesome. Now, do I kind of wish this had been a fashion pack instead? Yes. I feel like this would have been more impressive to come in the fashion pack. Just like, honestly. I think it would have been better, but it was an important part of the movie that she shows up in this outfit, so it's okay. I get why they made the doll now, because I was a little bit wondering before I saw the movie why this was one of the first tier releases, but she looks great, honestly. So if you guys have any questions about her, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.